This is Kevin Reynolds live in Studio A on Culture Shift on WDET.
listening to Kevin Reynolds live in Studio A here at WDET on Culture Shift. This man is moving and grooving right now in the studio. He's working up a sweat. He's going to be playing at the Waterfront stage at Movement on Sunday, May 28th. And you see his name on there. It says Kevin Reynolds in parentheses live. And we got to talk to Kevin here a little bit about what that means. When we define you as a live electronic musician, what does that mean, Kevin? That means, uh, you know, I compose everything on the spot. Um, And then I remix it live. And yeah, I'm just going with the flow. That's what I'm doing. How is that different when I see something that says DJ set versus live on a flyer? Yeah, so a DJ um, is kind of constrained by two tracks. So you have two tracks and then you have another turntable. A lot of technology has progressed in the sense of that. Uh, But for me, um, I control every single part and all the music is me. Um, I composed it. I wrote it. I, you know, did everything. So I know every single part. I can take parts in, take parts out. So try to describe your setup right now uh, of what you got going on here in Studio A. Yeah, so I got, um, I'm using Ableton. That's my main, main thing. Um, I used to use hardware, a lot, a lot of equipment. I used to have like two golf carts of uh, equipment the first time I played at <laughs> Movement in 2001 or DMF. Um, but yeah, uh, now it's Ableton. It fits all in, you know, a backpack and a nice Pelican. And I'm using... The Model 1.4 uh, mixer that Richie Houghton helped develop. And then uh, the uh, Roland TR8S. And then uh, APC40, little Apogee action. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Mm. It's it's just, it's it's basically like porn for music nerds, the stuff you just <laughs> described. Yeah, yeah. And I got some fancy cables too, you know, from Japan and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're talking about composing... When you're talking about putting this stuff together, this is basically the idea of hitting like a single note on a keyboard and yep. then transforming it through pitch and all these different things. You're basically sampling yourself. Exactly. Like it's just me going through it. And, you know, if I don't press that button, um, it will just stop. So I have to make sure that I am constantly aware and present in the moment. Kevin Reynolds, live in Studio A here on Culture Shift on WDET. Kevin, let's keep this mix going, man. Woo, let's do it.
Live in Studio A right now, Kevin Reynolds. One of the OGs of the scene here. Been doing this for decades. A live electronic musician who's making all the music that you're hearing. Resorting it, remixing it, essentially sampling his own creativity to make tracks out of that. He's very unique in that way. So when you see him out and about performing live, you're not just seeing a DJ. You're seeing something beyond that. And that's kind of part of the educational mission here on Culture Shift, too, is electronic music is really confusing. I totally get it. These guys love releasing a ton of music. It's tough to keep track of. But we try to hold your hand through it, help you explain it, and kind of understand it, especially on Movement Weekend. This is a great way to have this extended mix with Kevin Reynolds, who's going to be on the waterfront stage at Movement on Sunday, May 28th. He's playing from 3 to 4. It's going to be an absolute banging set, Kevin. And it's yeah. so awesome to have you in the studio, man. How's it feeling? Oh, it's feeling great. <laughs> I'm loving it. So for you, as we're going through these tracks, like, is this stream of consciousness or do you have a plan going into it? Yeah, I, stream. Of, that's a great way to put it. Stream of consciousness. We're just letting it flow. Um, there's a little bit like, you know, guardrails, like, you know, you're on the lodge, you got the walls. Keeps you in from crashing off the, the flying off the lodge. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 about it. <laughs> so when was the very first time you played out in the city of Detroit? I think uh, the very first time uh, was at Ferran's. Fran's Grand Trunk Pub downtown. Yeah, yeah, the old ticket station. Um, played for you know a huge crowd of three people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know me, my, and Sonic, one keyboard, and my roommates. <laughs> and then uh, the next next big show. Well, the next show was really big. It was for Metroplex. Uh, Liz Copeland, who mm. used to be host here. Uh, she had me play at uh, the Metroplex party, which is the original, the first electronic, la- one of the first electronic labels in Detroit. Yeah. yeah. What year would that have been? Uh, 1999, I think, was the first time I f- formed in Detroit. Yeah. In 1999, Kevin Reynolds is coming on the scene, and then we have to wait decades for you to finally be ready to release a full-length album, A Certain <laughs> Circumstance which you put out on Yoruba Records this year. Yeah. And I love this record, man. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, it's yeah, it's it's it was a lot of lot of work, a lot of work. I love it. What took you so long? Uh, you know, I had to overcome um I always felt that there was somebody else that was, you know, that was more deserving and more uh more skilled than I was. And I think that um I had to overcome one of the hardest hurdles for me is fear. Um and accepting all the um, things that are supposed to happen, let them happen. I was blocking myself, basically. And then you finally release it. And there's a lot of pent-up creative energy, man, because this record <laughs> is phenomenal. When I listen to A Certain Circumstance, which we've played a ton on the show this year, uh, I can hear the space. I can yeah. hear the atmosphere. It feels like the music is bouncing off the walls at me. Which I think with electronic music, one of the things I see a lot of uh, musicians, creators fail to do is give it that atmosphere, texture, and space. It sounds like a direct plug-in, right? Right. Like it's just going A to B instead of finding that space, filling it, and making you feel like you're, you're in it. Almost in the way a symphony can do that, make you feel surrounded by the music. Absolutely. So how did you end up finding that ability to, to create that? You know, studying other other artists, other musicians, and listening and reading a lot about music. Um, you know, getting space uh, is one of the hardest things in 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 music. You know, you listen to like uh, Brian Eno or somebody like that, and it's just all about space. And you need you need that to breathe. You look at uh, you know some of my favorite producers, like outside of electronic music. Well, it is electronic music too, but Pharrell. You know. There's plenty of space in his music. Um, you listen to, you know, jazz. There's lots of space, and it's like you don't want to overwhelm. You want you want people to get comfortable and get in there, and have a feeling, and you know, become one with it. You're obviously very respected by your peers in the scene yeah. here in Detroit, and then this record finally comes out. What's been the the feedback? Oh man, uh, it's it's been incredible. I, I, I can't believe it. You know. You know, I, I, I'm driving around Detroit and hear, hear the song on the radio, and I'm like, oh, that's me. 
and Ryan's playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this track is hot. What is this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I made that. Yeah. Um, yeah, the response has just been, I mean, international. People that I look up to, my heroes and everything. You know, I had a lot of guidance from Oshalade. You know, a lot of guidance from Derek May. A lot of, you know, it's just, and friends, family, everybody, you know. A Certain Circumstance is the record. Uh, you can check it out. Kevin Reynolds, you got your band camp, and that's a good way to really directly support what you're doing, right? Yeah, that's, you know, you can go to uh, Yoruba Records and on um, band camp, and you can you can get the record there. That's That, that way we get the best cut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be able to support yeah. independent Detroit musicians, right? Exactly, exactly. Coming to my shows, you know, that's 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 a huge one too. Yeah, Kevin Reynolds is going to be on that waterfront stage on Sunday at Movement, 3 to 4. You got any other gigs people can check you out this weekend? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so on Monday I got, uh, I'm playing the Yoruba party at Spotlight at uh, 11, uh, I'm sorry, Marble Bar at 11 a.m., to 1 p.m. and then I'm playing uh, the Yoruba party at um, Spotlight. I mean at at Mar- um, yeah Spotlight. Sorry, I get him confused. <laughs> well, the, you DJs, you guys gig all over the place, so I'll, I'll give you a little bit of patience in terms yeah. of mixing all this stuff up. Yeah. So so yeah, that's I'm doing Marble Bar at 11 and then Spotlight at three to four. But people can find you on Instagram. That's a good way to stay yeah, that's in touch with what you're doing. Yeah. Just search Kevin Reynolds. He's very easy to find on there. We're gonna chat more with Kevin Reynolds, but I want to get back into the zone with this killer exclusive mix that he's got for us right now on Culture Shift here on W. U-D-E-T. It's Kevin Reynolds live in Studio A.
See Paul Randolph on that vocal. Absolutely incredible. That's my favorite track on the record. Guy. Oh man, yeah. Paul Paul wrote that and I just made the beats. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely killer. Kevin Reynolds live in Studio A here on Culture Shift on WDET. It's gonna be all over the place during movement weekend. Check him out on Instagram to see all the dates that he's playing. And of course, you can see him on the waterfront stage. At Movement, if you're going to the festival, put this one on your calendar. Three to four, waterfront stage on Sunday. And this is just kind of a a little sample of what you're going to be serving up, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm going to go up and down, left, right, and center. Let's do this, you know? (laughs) Kevin, I got to ask you, you know, I'm always curious about the health of the scene. You've been part of it since the 90s. And uh, I'm curious, when you think about Detroit, the music that comes out of here... How do you describe it to someone who maybe hasn't experienced it? And and where do you think we're at right now in 2023 in terms of recognition, support, all that stuff? You know, I the global phenomenon of this music is is just incredible. Um, I, I feel like we are really in a great spot right now. The music that uh, people before me and people after me have been putting out is just reaching a, a magnitude around around this globe. I I. It blows me away at times uh, how crazy it is. Yeah. And it's only growing. You know, I have noticed this year for movement, it seems like the footprint is the largest it's ever been. I feel like I say that every year, but it just seems like it it, it keeps taking over the city. 
you just drive around, walk around the streets. I mean, I'm seeing people from all over the world that have yeah. already landed. It's like the auto show when people are here like two <laughs> weeks in advance to come check out this export. And a lot of them are going to be watching you and watch these other musicians. And uh, what do you hope they take away? Maybe someone's first visit to Detroit. What do you hope they take back home with them? You know, I, I think one of the, the main takeaways from people that come here is just how amazing Detroiters are and how caring we are and how proud we are um you know you see it constantly you know people that may not be exposed to this music all of a sudden become fans that weekend you know and and it's just it's just a growing thing i i, I am so happy to be part of it um and just having people from around seeing my city you know erasing all these negative stereotypes about our city is just just an amazing thing to see such the positivity um the love you know and the music plays a massive role in that. Oh my God, yes. I mean, it's just, it's just the, it, it's everything, man. It's everything. Yeah. Kevin Reynolds, his fantastic debut LP, A Certain Circumstance. This thing, you know, I think it's going to be one of the best records of the year. <laughs> We're barely halfway through the year, but I feel confident in saying that. Wow. And I highly recommend everybody get his record. Search him up, Kevin Reynolds Bandcamp. Put some money in this man's pocket so he can <laughs> yeah, keep they, supporting. They need a little, you know, they need a little scratch in there. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you walk in today. There was no jingle in those pockets. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> support yeah. Kevin Reynolds. Support music made in the Motor City. As we always say here on Culture Shift, give all your money to Detroit artists. Hey, that's what's up. All right, Kevin, we got about 10 minutes here for you to really push us and take us out. Let's go ahead and get lost in this mix. Kevin Reynolds, live in Studio A right now on Culture Shift on WDET. Let's feel the vibe.
Faça o trabalho de quem não tem capoeira que é bom, não cai de subir e me cai. Cai bem capoeira que é bom, não cai de subir e me cai. Cai bem. The boy is hot. Kevin Reynolds, <laughs> live in Studio A. Lev- Sweating. <laughs> oh, my God. Live electronic musician Kevin Reynolds. His record, A Certain Cir- Circumstance, is Detroit must-own. Go ahead and find that on Bandcamp to directly in- support an independent artist right here in your own backyard. Also, go check him out this weekend at Movement on the Waterfront Stage on Sunday, 3 to 4. Kevin Reynolds, an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Oh, Thank you so pleasure. much, ma'am. My pleasure. It is a, a joy to be here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. He's going to play us out here on Culture Shift on 1019 WDETFM, Detroit's NPR station, your connection to news, music, and conversation. I'm Ryan Patrick Hooper. I hope you have the best weekend ever, Detroit. We will see you on Monday at noon for a special Movement Memorial Day Culture Shift here on WDET.